Hello and welcome to another Ye Olde Battle Reps video. This one's another one that's a bit different. So hopefully you'll have seen some of the painting videos and you'll have seen some of our battle reports and match reports. This one is a comparison between a Season 1 and a Season 2 Captain. So I'm doing one, and I hope you're going to do this for a few guilds, but I'm starting off with Alchemist because it's a team that I've used the most. So I'm going to compare Midas and Smoke. Now I'm going to admit right from the beginning that this is going to be a slightly biased video because I absolutely love Smoke. Midas is brilliant, but I have really taken to using Smoke recently. I've used her in four games now, and she's won every game. And I think a lot of it has been down to her as a captain as well. So we'll start off with Season 1, we'll start off with Midas, and this, this isn't going to be just a comparison of their stat lines or their playbooks particularly. It's more about how I've used them on the, on the pitch, how they fought on the pitch, how they've done, how many points they've won for me how much they've done against the opposition. It's not just Midas has got a bigger move, Midas has got a bigger attack. It's not going to be about that. It's, it's much more important, it's much more about how you can use them on the pitch. So, starting off with Midas, yes, okay, he's got a better move, he's got a better attack, he's got a better kick, he's got a better defence. Um, obviously he hasn't got the armour and he brings the same influence as Smoke. Um, his playbook's longer and he, he does have some really good plays, you know, true, true Replication is a very scary um, character play for the opposite interface, particularly in turn one. It can often dictate what your, op what your opposition does in their first turn, because they don't want him anywhere near people. Um, Clone is really good and Heavy Burden is really good. They are, they are really good, but they're only really good for Midas himself. He is an incredibly selfish character, um, and, that, and that's the same with his... Um, character traits and things as well. Um, they are only for him. They do not really benefit anyone else at all. It's only for him. Um, I think that's my biggest issue with Midas. He's not a team player. He's exceptionally good at doing things by himself, but his biggest drawback is you generally have to give him six or seven influence. Um, whereas his smoke, uh, she brings the same influence to the table. She brings four and only can hold six. Um, so her character plays, then you know, she's got a smoke bomb, which is just pretty standard. And the alchemy mix and the chemical breeze and then her traits they both got unpredictable movement so that's the same for both of them um i really like her her, moment, her momentous inspiration i've often generated quite a lot of momentum in the first term with that which has been good um even in spite of not having the ball up and able to do that um and her legendary every time i've used it in a game it's resulted in a takeout because i save it until someone's got three health left and then hit them with that don't have to roll to hit, doesn't matter what the defence is or anything else, doesn't matter if it's Ghast, who would normally require two influence, doesn't matter if it's Fang Tooth, doesn't matter if it's someone with defence five, you just finish them off just like that, and that is excellent, I think. Um, I think that the biggest aspect for me, which makes me like Smoke more, is the fact that you only really need to give her four influence, and she can still get a lot done with just four. Whereas Midas, you need to give him a minimum of six, if not seven every turn. If you're giving him seven, you've only got six really to give everyone else in your team. So what I think with Midas is, yes, you, you, you can do a lot with him individually, but it means the rest of your team miss out. Whereas when I played with Smoke, I found I've given her four. I've, I've then been able to give Calculus three or four. I've been able to give Hemlock three or four. I've even been able to give Compound Influence. And they've all been able to get stuff done as well. Otherwise you find that you're waiting for Midas to do something and all it takes is for him to get shut out or puppet mastered and suddenly he's a bit useless. Um, or he's knocked down flat on his face by a brewer and the rest of your team hasn't got any influence so you're a bit stuck. Whereas with Smoke, even if she does get shut out, it's not a big deal because you can do other things with other players because you've given them influence and Smoke can still do her thing. Um, and she is much better I think at supporting the rest of the team than Midas is. Um, I mean, her, her momentous inspiration is really good. I mean, I tend to run in my team at the moment, Smoke alongside Calculus and Hemlock, and turn one, they are all just in a row next to each other. And Calculus will get off Noxious Blast for me and she'll get momentum for it. And then Hemlock will do the same and also get momentum for it. So even if I've got the ball or not, I'm still managing to get two momentum. Um, I do think that with Smoke, though, the most important part of her entire play is Cloud Jumper. It is amazing. Um, it completely bypasses goalkeepers, 
So she can get past compound if you're playing engineers, you can get past um, tenderizer, you will be able to get past the veteran um, engineer uh, goalkeeper when it comes out. And she can avoid parting blows. I mean, she, she has never taken a parting blow the entire time I played with her because she just pops a smoke bomb for herself and then just moves seven and a half inches away and then she can still swing. She's got a 13 and a half inch movement range I've worked out because it's almost exactly seven and a half inches from the edge of her base to where you want to play smoke bomb and she can go to exactly the other side of the smoke bomb and suddenly she's moved seven and a half inches and then another six inches went. It's cost you two, yeah, but being able to move that far across the board is incredibly irritating for your opposition, especially if she can move through, generally speaking, she can move through cover because she can just bypass it with the smoke bomb. As long as she can see part of the smoke bomb, she can therefore get to it. Um, she can move through players. Um, as long as she can move through really irritating players like Ghast, like Fangtooth, the really big people you don't really want her near. Um, Whereas with Midas, we, I tend to find Midas where he tends to be then, because everyone's scared of him, he is the focus. So everyone just tries to beat him up. And you've still got to give him all the influence, and your team still can't do anything, the rest of your team still can't do anything. Whereas Smoke, you, you can get away with giving her three. With three influence, she can move. She's got the ball, she can move, she can sprint, and she can shoot. I've scored a goal with her before, with three influence, um, where she cloud jumped. Next to near tenderizer, hit him once. I think I have to get a full influence. She cloud jumped next to tenderizer or near enough to him, then charged, pushed him two inches away with her with a double push on momentum. He was therefore no longer in four inches of the goalpost, not within two inches of her, and then she shot with all with all four. Um I bonus timed it, she had five dice and she's hitting just doing it on fours then. Um yes, Minus has got the push dodge on two, which is really good. You can move people around quite a lot but you end up using a lot of influence to do that. Whereas with Smoke, she can move people further, I think, with less influence with that double push. Um, I am gonna be interested to see Midas with a few of the other um, season two players. I think it'd be interesting to see that both of these alongside Veteran Catalyst and Naja as well. Um, Cause Smoke does a certain you know, one drawback because she, she does rely on other people with AOEs. So you need to have at least Calculus or Mercury or Hemlock in your team for her to actually be able to do anything with them. Otherwise, Alchemy Mix and Chemical Breeze become useless. So she does dictate who you have in your team a bit more. Um, like I said, at the moment, I'm running Hemlock and Calculus. Because even though Poison doesn't do a huge amount of damage, it's very irritating for the opposition if five out of six members of their team are poisoned. Because even though it takes off two health, they still feel like they need to remove it anyway. So I find that what I would like with Smoke is that she becomes such an irritant for the team that they try and do things against her and then you can either unpredictably move out or just avoid them anyway. Um, she's very good at avoiding because if nothing else she can just jump to the other side of the piece of terrain. Um, and then if, if you really need to you can put her in cover with smoke bomb. She's never been taken out every time I've used her because she's so good at avo avoiding things. Whereas Midas has been taken out on two two games that I've done with him. Um, let me know what you think if you want to put uh, your remarks in the comments. Uh, I'd be interested to know what you think about Midas and what you think about Smoke. And um, like I said, and it's been I think quite clear in this video that I have a huge preference for Smoke. I really, really like using her. I think that she people who go on about how good Midas is, yeah, he is really good. But there's that huge drawback of how much influence he requires to do things. Um, but I'm going to try using Midas again, I think, and see how I go. Um, that's the end of this video. Um, I will hopefully at some point do some comparisons of my. Mason's captains, I haven't used Hammer yet, and I'll definitely do one for um, my Union because I used Veteran Rage recently. Um, I do some Blackheart and I'll do a comparison with them as well. I hope this has been useful a little bit in seeing some of the, the benefits of the Season 2 captain. Um, I think Smoke is amazing. Um, I think she's underrated at the moment because everyone compares her to Midas, which isn't necessarily useful because she's a very, very different player. Anyway, thanks for watching and see you next time.